All right, my friends, how are you today? This is David, and this is another essential training video in Pingend. So I started making this template so I can apply it in multiple projects. I had this problem of not being able to find the right tool that combined the graphic editing with modern web browser standard oriented design and I'm talking about Bootstrap in particular. You may or may not have heard about Bootstrap before. All I can tell you in this video is we're gonna use a tool that is going to leverage the power of this framework. If you want to understand uh, a little bit more about Bootstrap, I will just recommend you to go to a website called W3 schools and I'm just going to pull it right here right now in the window so you can have a look at this so w3 schools w3 Jesus there you go <clears throat> here you want you can learn the theoretical about bootstrap and the core principles what I'm going to show you in my video is practical. So let's get started. I am going to build a page that looks like this. Okay, it is very minimalistic. It is based in some paragraphs, some headlines. You have a menu here. You can stick your, your brand or your logo. Uh, and you can make a, a presentation that is fully responsive and it works quite well in multiple devices so the project structure is the following i'm going to show you i'm working on a test a folder within that folder i have the project so i'm going to split this into the index file which is the one we are working on a CSS folder which is empty but we can build from here and then we have the assets folder you can also call it images and um, what you have here are images I like to call it assets in case I want to include sounds and um, video so it is more like a, like a media library so this assets folder is your uh, basically your uh, multimedia content <coughs> There you go. Let's open the page, double click. Uh, let's just pull it up here. Seems like we're missing the main image. What's going on? Let's just double check. Let's make sure we save. Uh, let's make sure we actually refresh and see what's going on here. There you go. So we have room for text, room for some testimonials and why not maybe a wise quotation from someone famous here perhaps for use cases or for user testimonials then you have some editorial content and why not some um, you know finishing blurb down here maybe we are missing a footer and we're going to <coughs> apply it uh, right now so in my previous video was really really bad in terms of sound and you know it's, it's very unfortunate uh, and, I'm, and I'm really sorry about that because it was good material but I'm going to take some time here actually a few minutes because this process is so you can make it in few minutes yourself I'm going to start from the template that I'm currently building so basically I created some sections and I stack them all up together and what I can do is expand these columns uh, this is basically a way we play around the grid you expand these columns and they respond to your adjustments but I'm going to go even more radical here I'm going to actually undo everything that I have done so I'm going to reverse engineer the creation of the site 
and I will remake it again for this video so I'm going to show you not just how to use Pingendo but how can you nicely lay out this this page so let's actually just go and delete everything so just select click on the boxes on the containers and then start deleting so I'm going to get you to learn the concepts right from the ground up because otherwise you're going to suck making these landing pages and these product pages let's start from, from blank and really get a grasp of the key concepts so you have an empty document and you have a couple of tabs here sections and components sections contain rows and rows contain columns and within columns you may have images and lists and bullet points and you can have paragraphs and headlines and buttons so the core structure can be built from down here where it says structure okay so this is one column grid this is three column grid this is a four columns let's go for a three column grid section let's just stack it up here and as you can tell is essentially a stripe you keep building by appending those basic stripes right there the stripes are already broken down into some standard layouts there you go let's append uh, let's put this one here I think I mess it up if you make a mistake if you nest in the wrong place simply undo uh, let's just make sure this actually goes underneath these ones down there okay I have some wireframe going on here I'm going to go to the components section let's go back actually I'm gonna go back here because I'm missing a footer and I'm going to use this footer component which I can tweak after let's just toss it there what about up here I think I'm going to need a header with a navigation bar and you know what I'm going to use a component like this one with a left image and a right paragraph I found this first section to be quite uh, impactful if the content is meaningful and it solves a problem somehow so I wanna keep the image smaller and I will tweak this as I go I think I'm missing a button so in the component section I'm going to go for a button so let's go right here buttons bang and just stick it up under this paragraph that's what I'm going to do nice All right. so I'm going to save this file and this is going to be saved in the, te in the test folder that I've been working on uh, which is this one so as I save the test I can open And you're going to see how there is nothing else except of, of an invisible grid happening. So what am I going to do now? I have to fill it up with content. So I'm going to go to components. What it says empty column. What I want to have is three of these uh, components called thumbnails. I'm going to stick one here. I'm going to stick this bad boy right here. something didn't work quite well let's just stick it up let's stick it up this one uh, down here let's add one image placeholder um, here maybe I want to have a heading and a paragraph 
so you just got one here one there uh, but in here actually I want to have a video so I'm just going to drag the YouTube video in fact you know what I'm going to stick it here so as you go you can you can start finding design patterns that are effective and efficient for your project so let's delete this one and keep this YouTube video here instead um, so how do you put your own video very easy you will go to YouTube let's say I'm going to go to let me just pull the this channel so let's say I want to have this video all right my friends this is David okay so I just want to take this last part of the video the video ID and in here simply replace it replace the ID right here easy it can not get any easier so what it says heading that's going to be the title of the video so I'm going to expand this column and uh, perhaps I'm going to have a couple of testimonials so I'm going to use the media list component which has one image and one image here okay here I'm going to get another image and on the right same deal heading content matters people actually read you know so make sure your copy stands out and there is no noise around so heading paragraph uh, what about here you know what I just changed my mind I'm going to delete this why because as I look through the wireframe building I notice design patterns that might work better for me I might decide to stretch this column so aligns nicely with this uh, text block somehow sometimes you might want to add some paddings and spacing in between one trick something that you can do is simply append an invisible row in between so let's go here Let's try to stick it. Didn't work quite well. It did not work that well. Let's try again. It didn't do anything, at least not as far as I can tell oh I see okay so the rows have to be underneath other rows that's the other key thing so basically I will go here and I bet you are in between these two I can stick it up there you go if this responds one day oh my god really punch me in the face guys there you go okay empty row and now you can add more things into this so what if I want to add an actual table here so table there you go excellent and why not and then I'm going to toss a heading for this table let's see if I can stick it here perfect there you go I have the nice looking video here I have some text I have some uh, content I think I'm going to go straight on the code uh, to add that space that padding what I'm going to try here is after the div after this iframe actually just make a BR and see what what happens BR save and preview there you go we have the video we have all these things going on 
But you know what? As I keep designing, I just find new design solutions. One of the solutions is just get rid of this because it seems that it's creating a lot of conflict in the framework. So I'm just going to just get rid of that. I don't, I don't really give, I don't really care. So as long as I have the content going on, I just need a good description. Fill this text, simply copy paste on the placeholders. And for the images, all you have to do is go click, click here on this icon and browse for the images that you have around. So the first image that I want to have up there will be this one. Let's say I am selling this software and I want people to download this uh, market research uh, software or whatever it is. You can change the label of the button right here or you can do it straight up in the element. Uh, I want to have some, you know, three testimonials going on. So I'm going to change this, what goes in this picture. Uh, let's see, how do I do this? I click on the image source, which shows up here. You can tell as you select, you're going to get the placeholder image by default. And all you have to do is replace it. So again, let's go to the first one. Look down here in the HTML, there is a path to an image. That path can be generated from here. So I'm going to use this guy. In the second one, I'm going to click here and use another person. So let's say this guy. Same goes for that one. I will chase this lady. Seems smaller, so let's replace it. All right. It was an issue of the image size, uh, the one that I had on my libraries. Uh, okay, so we have three images going on. We have the video, we have the table. Maybe we need the last image. So just click, click here, and then you pull it from your assets. Um, let's bring this up. And I think the template is ready, my friends, for you to play with, to add the content. And you know, keep developing from there. So let's see what's the result. I'm really looking forward to see what's going on. How this template looks like. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Minimal, basic, and I made it in a short period of time. You can develop, you can evolve, you can make fancy graphics, add more features through CSS. Uh, so I'm going to stop here. I hope you enjoyed the video. You learned something. You got to uh, train a little bit more and practice Pingend and build your websites efficiently with rapid prototyping methodologies. This is David, Smart Media Publishing and Models of Identity.com. Thank you.